Miles Garrett has been suspended by the NFL indefinitely for striking Mason Rudolph with his helmet. What Miles Garrett did was very dangerous and it has no place in the league. So he definitely deserved to be suspended indefinitely. I hope he suspended at least eight games next season. And if the NFL decides to suspend him more than eight games, I'm okay with that as well. This is definitely a strong message to anybody else who thinks about doing what Miles Garrett did. It'll let them know that, hey, you do this, you're gonna be in big trouble with the league. And I hope Miles Garrett does not appeal this decision. If he does, I hope he loses. He, he should not appeal this. He should take his suspension and he should learn from this and try to move on. I understand that he was frustrated with Mason Rudolph. I know that Mason Rudolph also reached for his face mask. I understand, I get it. My thing is, don't respond by ripping off a man's helmet and then striking him with it. That's the wrong way to respond to someone who's grabbing your face mask. He could have just grabbed his face mask back and been done. I would have been okay with that. Mason Rudolph grabs his face mask, he grabs Mason Rudolph's face mask, and then that's it. But to take off another man's helmet and to swing it violently towards him, no, you gotta be out for a long time. So the NFL did the right thing here. I hope no other player does this. I hope no other player even thinks about taking off another player's helmet and swinging it at him. If he does, he should be suspended for that season and the whole next season. It's just too much here. Football is an inherently dangerous sport. Even when you try to be safe, people get hurt. But then to do reckless stuff like this, it makes the game even more dangerous and we don't need that. The NFL is all about safety. They don't want players taking too many headshots. And stuff like this, it should never be tolerated. And this is definitely a stain on the league, but the NFL will recover from this. I believe that Miles Garrett has learned his lesson. He did appear remorseful, which is a good sign. So he understands what he did was wrong. And like I said, I hope he never does this again. I hope any player that does this, I hope they just are gone for a long time. I've got a feeling though, that no other NFL player will attempt this because if they do, then the, that the consequences will be way too severe. Like I said, I know Mason Rudolph was wrong. He grabbed my Miles Garrett's face mask as well. I understand, I get it. But he didn't swing his helmet at Miles Garrett's helmet. He didn't remove Garrett's helmet and use it to attack him. So we gotta be fair here. So like I said, it was unfortunate that this happened. I know that both teams are rivals in the AFC North and both of them are trying to play hard so they can possibly make it to the playoffs. I understand, I get all of that. Robbery games are usually intense. The thing is though, you still have got to conduct yourself professionally, even when you're playing a rival. You just have to do it. You can't let your emotions spill and get out of control. Because when you do that, you're hurting your team. And we know that football is the ultimate team sport. Miles Garrett has definitely hurt his team. He is one of their best players. And with him being out, this is gonna really make it hard for the Browns to make the playoffs. It just is. That defense, they need him. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be done in terms of being a dominant defense. I don't see it. With him not rushing the passer, I don't think they have enough playmakers to cause noise to disrupt the opposing team's offense. So he really hurt his team on this one. I hope his teammates are in his ear telling him, hey, no more of this. So we'll see what happens in the future. I think he'll miss about eight games next season, but hey, who knows for sure. Hopefully all NFL players will learn from this and we will never ever have to see anything like this again. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful 
day.